with the introduction of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's final DLC. We can now shiny hunt all previous generation starter Pokemon in one concise area. And as a man with a crippling addiction to finding different colored monsters, <gasps> oh! Oh! I already understood the assignment. However, what I wasn't expecting was for this challenge to take over four months to complete and a total of 75 hours streamed over on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Marcus Waddle. Retrospectively looking back, was it all really worth it? Well, here are the results from my own shiny starter quest. Shiny odds can be some of the most confusing things to keep up with in Scarlet and Violet, so as a baseline, for all my hunts, I'll be using my Shiny Charm and Sparkling Power Level 3 for typical odds of 1 in 683. And I will not be hunting the Paldea Trio during this video because I enjoy my sanity. With this in mind, returning back to streaming after my Christmas break, I got my first opportunity to explore Blueberry Academy since completing the story, where I managed to find this. Uh, what is spawning down? Oh, it's Ellie kid, dude. Oh, it might be Tepig. Yeah, Tepig outbreak would be sick. I think it's Tepig. Yes. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's go. At this point, I hadn't realized just how common these little pork chops were, so I was super excited to see this. And I guess that enthusiasm paid off in terms of shiny luck, as it didn't take long to find our first shiny for the challenge. Wow, that was super quick, dude. Four minutes for our first shiny Tepig. Let's freaking go. Nice, man. Let's go. I need to get some good Pokeballs to cast these bad boys in. I <laughs> could already Morgan Sheik in my head. Sorry, God. Nice. Let's go. Hence, I wasn't even finished. Oh, shiny tap pick number two. Man, I came so quick. We're 10 minutes in and we already have two of them, too. <laughs> <laughs> this outbreak area is so good. Whilst I wasn't wrong, Tepig is by far the most common starter outbreak, and boy would I know having to spend hours upon hours resetting for a certain fire mouse. But we'll touch on that later on. For now, I snatched up Tepig number two, and whilst I wasn't able to wrap up all three in one sandwich, I wasn't waiting long for my final bacon rasher. Hey, there it is. Freaking shiny Tepig, there's the third. Hello, little one. How is things? Oh, that quick catch. Yes, let's go, that's huge. Despite my best attempts to try to find a wobble monkey or a score bunny, I was unsuccessful. So upon completing both evolutions, it was back over to the canyon biome for one of the worst outbreaks I've ever seen. Oh, is it Squirtle, dude? I think it's Squirtle. Oh, this is gonna be a super easy isolation. I was sorely mistaken, but despite even this, it didn't take long for our first Squirtle to show up. If we don't get anything by the end of the first sandwich, I said we maybe wrap up for the evening. Oh my goodness, never mind. Hello? Dude, what is my luck? Three minutes. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. But this is seemingly where my shiny luck finally ran out for the evening. Well, for Squirtle, at least. What? What? Dude, that's a shiny charm odds, shiny freaking tap pig, man. I've just completed my tap pig family. <laughs> We're going for Char. We're going for Squirtle. Ugh. Hi, Tepig. <laughs> a repeat ball might actually be quite nice for it. Thankfully, I was able to find at least one more Squirtle before the night was through. Let's freaking go, dude. But with Tepig audibly laughing at me from the PC, I decided to wrap up day one there. And with this, it kicked up the first real drought of the hunt. Day two began with me trying to find another Squirtle outbreak to finish off the family unsuccessfully. So I finally settled for a Froakie outbreak, which did not treat me nicely. <laughs> And considering I usually only stream for a typical time of about four hours a day, we were now over three hours into stream. So I settled for a far easier Trico hunt, making this our first isolatable family completely out in the wild. And whilst this hunt took a little longer than our four tad pigs, there's our first one. That's our first shiny starter in three hours tonight, guys. Shiny Trico. There he is. Oh my goodness. Another shiny Trico, baby. Let's go. Well shiny trico number two there he is there's another good freaking thumbnail man oh there we freaking go baby there it is final shiny trico of the family 
There he is. It was still incredibly fast. And at least the family has fantastic shinies to make up for it. But at this point, it was really starting to settle in just how long this hunt was going to take. And next stream really was not going to help that sentiment where one of the biggest Morganisms of the challenge took place. I just put me like an idiot. But first, it was on to Lytton. This stream was our New Year's Eve celebration, so things were a little, well, more relaxed than usual. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, with my amazing southern accents, it was only a matter of time until this happens. That's a shiny Golat, dude. I can't find Lytton to save my life. But hey, hi, Golat. Thankfully, it wasn't too much longer until the kittens start flooding in. Oh, shiny kitten. Let's freaking go, baby. I think it heard me yelling, dude. Yes! Let's go, baby. No, I wouldn't be surprised. Albino kitten number two, indeed. Oh! There it is, baby. There it is. I just put me like an idiot. Yeah, that wasn't my smartest 30 seconds. Thankfully, after the Morganism of 23, we were lucky enough to find one more fire kitten just before the clock struck 12, meaning at the very least, my final shiny of 2023 wasn't the field. Anyway, after obtaining Wolfie's sleep paralysis team, it was onto the worst water type starter, which pulled through in a final second buzzer beater in our very first sandwich. But it's not my first. I think that's the first. It is. There we go. Oh, baby. Freaking man, that was uh, close to the timer there. I'll show up, my dude. How much longer we have left? Two minutes. Uh, let's just make sure that I have smoosh up front and that I've saved. Crit catch already. Let's freaking go, man. That is shiny Oshawa number one. We need two more. That's our seconds. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think I was done? Second shiny Oshawa, ladies and gentlemen. Did I save? I can't remember if I saved. Good sir, please stay where you are. Oh my god. <laughs> he's, he's got bodyguards. Double shiny Oshawa in the span of about five minutes then, chat. Let's go. And being able to wrap the whole family up in under two and a half hours wasn't terrible, I guess. Third twig more than made up for that. Oh, shiny... Oh, he looks tiny, dude. Sorry, I, I think I just failed the words there for a second. <laughs> Shiny, shiny tortoise. Let's go, baby. Hey, crit catch immediately. Let's go, dudes. Let's get it, gamers. And if you thought my shiny luck couldn't get any better. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, my goodness. You're kidding, dude. What is my luck tonight? Somebody might have to take away my shiny charm. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, dude. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> Dude, we found all of those in the span of half an hour. Yeah. This was by far the quickest I finished the entire family during the playthrough. But strangely, wasn't the luckiest. Speaking of, that certainly was not an extreme, as I wasted the entire time looking for the holy golden nugget, only to find nothing. And so, it was on the Rowlet. And as I was able to rack up so many encounters, this family took no time to show up either. Oh, there we go! There's number one, guys. Only 18 minutes in, man. Let's go. My luck be kinda nutty today. Today, dude. Oh, there we go. Let's go, dude. Shiny Rowlet number two. Wow. Let's freaking go, dude. That's all three collected, guys. Let's freaking go, man. Boink. Let's kidnap him. Did I save? I did. I guess the grass type starters just really like me. It's a real shame that water type is my favorite. And boy, would they make their feelings on me very clear. Whenever I decided to hunt for Mudkip, this pink boy took over three hours to complete. You may have heard that I like Mudkips, but that's yeah, only because he's cute, okay? Luckily for me, I still had the Charizard line to fall back on. You're f kidding me. That is unbelievable. That's where my luck's been tonight. That's where it's been. That's the quickest shiny I've found in my life. Thankfully, I was able to wrap up this hunt in a little under two hours. Oh, let's go. There it is. Dude, that jump scared me, man. You freaking little so-and-so. You startled me. Sneaky Charmander, man. 
all three in one night half an hour exactly to the dot it's just a shame that the water type zoli hit me charizard's model in this game is just with this we have quite a respectable number of families under my belt and of course not learning from my lesson we returned back to a super uncommon total dial i break unfortunately for me this wasn't the only spot in the area i swear if we get a bruxish tonight instead of a total dial i will end stream immediately Nevertheless, I got to work hunting, and it would finally seem like my water type luck was finally beginning to turn around. Okay, that's noticeable, dude. That's noticeable. That was freaking speedy, dude. I don't think it should have any recoil moves. There he is. I was just fixing my freaking webcam, man. Great catch. Brilliant. That's the job, dude. Oh my god! Dude, this is the luck we freaking needed tonight, my guys. Yeah, sorry, guys. I was holding L button there. My God, there he is. Okay, I'm just going to throw an L ball again. I think it probably looks the best for, for Alligator. <laughs> I am okay. If a Dewpider shows up tonight, I may reset over it in all honesty because we need the Herba Mystica. But if Broxis shows up, chat, we just end. I'm done. I'm finished. And of course, because I mentioned it. Oh, uh, mm. Here's the deal, chat. I only have enough for one more sandwich after this. Do we catch the Dewpider? I don't have a lot of Herbas left. And I have just enough currently to get both my last Totodile that I need, along with another Squirtle. If you can't fight a Totodile, just reset, yeah. But the game wasn't finished. Cherkov's gunning me down just yet. You're... Right, chat. It was a fun stream today. Thankfully, almost three hours after this god-awful clip, the final installment of the Crocodile Dundee franchise decided to show up. Far from the worst abuse I'd had from these water type starters, but far from ideal either. With the little time I had left for the evening, I decided to go hunting for my final Squirtle outbreak. Oh my god, finally! Thank god, dude. Which made me mildly happy. And to further make up for it, the game had a cheeky little surprise for me on my journey over there. That almost makes up for my horrific luck. Wow. Nice. And it also wouldn't take us long to find our final mutant turtle either. Oh, let's go, dude. Yes. It's finally over. <laughs> there he is. With my shiny luck finally on a roll again, it was inevitable one of the froggy line was bound to start caving in. I'm pretty sure that's the shiny there, dude. I'm pretty sure that's the freaking shiny. Let's freaking go, dude. How quick was that, man? There it is. I forgot to move Kowalski out of the front of the party again. Speaking of old foes, it was back over to the polar biome to recreate a certain iconic scene. This was the first stream of March, kicking off Kanto Close Scramble Showdown event, which meant my shiny hunting integrity was on the line, as rabbits are Easter themed for some reason. We're after some bunnies for those crucial points, which means we really didn't want the mobile monkey today. Thankfully for me, however. Ah! Why? Why? Chip char! <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> it was gonna happen, chat. At least in the meantime, chat and I were able to keep ourselves entertained. Can we talk about chat? Is anybody else worried for Sequin? Both Serial Gate and Furby Blender Gate ha possibly have to be some of the most traumatizing Discord posts I've seen in my life. And after that ominous threat, it didn't take long for the first score bunny of the line to appear. Oh my goodness! Let's go! <laughs> Holy smokes! I was not expecting that, that quickly, dude. I was expecting at least another three chimchars. Let's go. And there was a nice surprise waiting for us whenever we went to check its summary screen. From there, the shinies really started to roll in. Is that a shiny? Hey, there it is. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Hello, score bunny. Look at the boy, chat. Nice, sweet. What the heck is going on with that chimp char? Oh, let's go. I was about to talk about the blue hedgehog. That's debatably cooler. Let's hack and go, dude. That's the last score bunny we need, baby. Poggers! It's female! <laughs> Hannah, I am so sorry. <laughs> hey, crit catch, baby. Let's go. Oh, what? There's a shiny Charmander beside us. <laughs> I call 
not a char, man. They're not a chip char. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That is such a... F Somebody clip that, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude, the biggest bra moment. Arceus, dude. Now is not the time. Homie, chill your bane. Should we let Rith die as a little, little, little cheeky punishment for how long he took me to... to never mind. Never mind. God, dude, piss cut stepped in and intervened. No death for me today, good sir. Oh my goodness, let's freaking go, dude. That's worked out perfectly tonight, chat. Final chimp chart, baby. Can't see it past Arceus' fat ass, but there it is. Just like, hey, and then immediately the crit catch comes, of course. Somehow I managed to avoid duping up on either family, and we managed to complete both these amazing shiny families in a little under three hours. Definitely better than those freaking water types anyways. So, with us successfully wrapping up an old target, it was time to return to yet another pest. Wait, wait, wait. Is that it? Oh, that's it, dude. Let's go. Yeah, he looks so ill. Let's freaking get it, man. Yeah, baby. We got the ill froki. Yeah. Get him, Toriyama. Man, beautiful. After my tumultuous celebrating of a terminally ill frog it wasn't in the card for us to find our final but with eic drawing ever closer i decided to stream every day until we managed to secure the bag with any hope of getting this video up on time anyway whilst everybody i talked to insisted that the synchro method was the best for torchic i actually found picnic reset to be just a little bit better oh there it is dude that was nice let's go let's go let's go that's not as noticeable as i thought it was going to be dude that's so freaking huge McNugget, get over here! But picnic resets are boring. So it was back over to the coastlands where we finally found our final frog. Oh, 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 oh! Dude, let's go! Oh, that's so hype! I was like, <laughs> that frookie looks a little ill. There we go, dude. There we go. There's the last cookie we need, man. So it was back over to picnic purgatory. But our patience wouldn't go unnoticed. Oh, shiny torchic, baby. Let's freaking go. Oh my goodness. Shiny number three of the night, baby. Yeah, you knew which one I freaking wanted to lock onto. There it is, baby. There it is. And it's female, dude. Oh my god. All you have to do is ask, chat. All you freaking have to do is ask. You ready for the second shiny female? It's male, it's male, it's male. Oh my god, dude. Shiny gods shined upon me today. So, with our McNugget in the bag, we decided to end stream with a Sobble outbreak. But I don't think a single one of us in stream expected this. Spring power and a counter power water. Let's go, guys. Super huge, super big, super large, super epic, and wholesome. I thought that it was. What the f? I was literally about to say, dude, lol, I think we've, uh, uh, I thought we'd already found it. No need to think. <laughs> How long was that? I think that's possibly my quickest ever shiny encounter. Oh, I've got loads of die balls. Let's catch on a die ball. Nice. Let's go, dude. But just when I thought my water luck was finally turning around, it would take us well over two hours to find our seconds. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, dude. Uh, let's freaking go, man. Second Sobble of the evening. It took a bit to get here, but it's fine. We forgive him. We forgive her! Oh my god. Second shiny starter female tonight, man. Let's go. That deserves a tea drink. And thankfully, within the next sandwich. Oh! Yes! Let's freaking go, dude. Uh, yes! That's the final sobble we need, baby. It is meal. It is meal. That's okay. That's okay. With this shiny, the challenge was really looking like it would be possible to complete in time. So with us wrapping up one of the worst fire starters of all time the previous day, it was time to tackle the worst. But I couldn't find anything after an hour of hunting. So it was onto my second favorite starter of all time. <laughs> and this made for a slightly more successful hunt. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dude, I was having a giggle of Waddles' joke. Oh my god. That is very epic. Look at that, gamers. Okay, yeah, that's very noticeable. Toriyama, I love you to bits, dude, but you do not make for good shiny reaction clips. In order to break up the monotony of both, we decided it would be best to flip-flop between both hunts. And to my surprise, I wouldn't be waiting long for my next target. I feel like- Oh my-
god, let's go! Yes! I'm free from my Cyndaquil Purgatory BB! Let's go. Uh, we may have to pick Nick. Oh, eruption. I thought that said explosion, dude. I was like, what the? <laughs> nice. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Thank you. That's two shinies in two and a half hours tonight. That makes it a little bit better. Oh! Why when I was telling the drunk story? What the flipping heck? King Glaceon, welcome in. It is so good to see you. <gasps> oh my goodness. And from there, our shiny luck just really seemed to go up. That's another shiny Snivy, man. Let's freaking go. Let's get it, baby. Yeah, yeah boy. Wraith, get your booty out here right now. Get your booty out here right now. There it is, chat. There it is. Another meal. Oh my god, dude. My luck tonight. Shiny freaking executor, man. Get your booty over here right now. Oh my god, that's some points for the team, dude. That's some points for the freaking team tonight. Let's go. Oh my f god, dude. Let's go. All three of them have spawned right here. Right there. Oh my god. It is my lucky spot. I love that. Third shiny Snivy tonight. It is also meal, which is absolutely fine. Chat, chat. Chat, chat, chat. 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 Thank you for the wow. <laughs> oh my god, dude. We had like 30 seconds left on the sandwich. <laughs> I am so unbelievably glad this is over, dude. That is going to be our worst hunt and i've gotten so incredibly lucky with it having completed two of the worst hunts of the entire challenge with ease you would think our shiny luck would finally begin to slow down but seemingly the opposite would happen oh wow that's a shiny freaking deerling dude i don't know how i managed to see that well not quite what we're looking for chat oh let's freaking go dude yes 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 very noticeable chat yes there's the first freaking chikorita of the day boys oh let's go i was really worried that we weren't going to find one the sandwich because we already phased on on deerling oh man this thing's so freaking cute it's gonna look so good as a meganium oh my god that's just spawned from the freaking outbreak Dude, this might be a way quicker hunt than I thought. I don't know if that one spawned due to the sandwich or if that just spawned in the outbreak. Our sandwich is over. What the? Oh my god! How did I not see that? I think it was curled up in a ball. Dude, I'm such a dumbass. Oh, I love that. I was like, why is that orange thing on the ground? Oh, there we go. Uh, shiny Chikorita. I was like, dude, is that a shiny cottony on the ground there? I don't think cottony spawns in this area. <laughs> Nope, shiny freaking Chikorita. Oh, dude, there we go. There's the first one of tonight. I was a little scared despite how many uh, how many we were seeing that we maybe weren't going to see one tonight. But there we go, guys. First shiny shame or shiny shame. <laughs> first shiny chest spin of the night. Let's go, baby. Oh, my God. Yes, let's freaking go, dude. My little guy's freaking zooming off away over there, dude. Come back here, cheeky chest spin. Dude, he's level 70, uh, my guy. Hello, how are you doing, one? Oh, let's freaking go! Uh, let's freaking go, dude. Uh, red nuts, as Sea Queen says. Another level 70 meal chest pin, maybe. Eat him! <laughs> Need chest pin with taste nuts, guys? Oh. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna have to worry about missing shiny Poplio, guys. That's pretty epic. <laughs> let's go, dude. Oh my god, we're popping off tonight, man. What the f***? Chat, what was that? Oh my god. What happens if they're twins? Oh my goodness, dude. My luck tonight. Absolutely insane. Oh, I have a shiny freaking tentacle, dude. I don't have one of these in this game yet. Triple freaking shiny sandwich, dudes. Oh, Smooch can't go in the water, chat. Oh dear. We got Squidward chat. Squidward speed run. Dude, that's our last Poplio that we need. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. There's the last Poplio that we need, man. 
Is it male or female? It's male, it's okay. Anyway, with us completing three whole families within five hours, this was one of my best streams of all time. And somehow left us with only three families left to complete. Unfortunately for us, however, we still had a relatively uphill battle, as Fennekin and Grookey were next on my hit list. <laughs> Things were not going to start out easy for us, as we immediately kicked off with a phase. Oh my god, we've already freaking phased. Thankfully, the game took pity on me, and even this late on, we managed to have one of the coolest encounters during the challenge. Oh, 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 oh! I was like, there's no way that's, that's shiny, surely not. Yeah, huh? Triple shiny sandwich, man. Toriyama, you kind of kind of ruined the shiny sparkles there, my dude. But it's okay. We forgive you. It's marked. It's hasty. Do we have any hasty guesses? I don't think so. That is such a good mark for a shiny Fennekin. And it would only be another 15 minutes until we completed our final fox. Oh, let's freaking go, dude. But it was with Grookey, our penultimate hunt, where things would really begin to go awry. Okay, uh, do a leap with the baby. She be levitating. It was here I knew this challenge was going to get so much worse. Finally, we were able to secure our first monkey, but of course the game wasn't finished trolling me. The cider's a Friday feeling, you know? Thankfully, after this traumatic encounter, we managed to secure our last monkey to leave Grookey Purgatory and leaving us with one final stream to capture our best boy. As you can probably tell, Piplup and Empoleon are my favorite Pokemon when I'm talking about Piplup. Ever since I hatched my first one in X and Y, I was in love, so it only makes sense to finish up the challenge with him. And boy, did he not keep us waiting. Uh, is that our first Piplup? It is our first Piplup! Let's go, man! Look at my little waddly BB. I just want to cuddle him. Look at my man. Look at him! He is the main character, chat. Hey, there's the crit catch immediately as well, man. Oh my god! I am the main character! It's me, chat. I'm the problem. There he is. I was trying to make a Taylor Swift reference, but to be honest, I didn't. I'm, I'm not intelligent enough, man. 40 minutes in, two piplops. That's it, Steel. Let's freaking go. Even after this capture, all of the build up and anticipation, 75 hours worth of hunting, and endless mockery by Chad, our final piplop finally came home. Oh, dude, that's gonna be brutal. Let's freaking go! That's the final shiny for shiny starter quest. There he is. Despite this challenge being lengthy, it was actually really fun. So comment down below if you want me to actually complete every shiny starter family and lose my mind hunting the Paldea trio. Or if you'd like to see me attempt any other shiny challenge. Alas, I've been Morgan Swaddle, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.